Hey guys, it's me Komasan. Today, guys, we are doing a FNAF Kel 2024 kill list, and I'm gonna be wanking all the Kel doors. This is going to be a little bit fast because look at all the animatronics we have. We have so much animatronics and other human type Kel doors, so we have to go through this so fast. So, first off, we got 40 Frazbell, and that's an automatic SS deal. It's 40 Frazbell. We're gonna say he's iconic, everything about him, you know, it, it's 40 Frazbell. Next is Bonnie the Bunny from FNAF 1. Bonnie the Bunny, it's a basic design, a pretty iconic design. Most of these FNAF 1 characters are going to be in S tier because they're so iconic, you know. All the merchandise and all that stuff. And Bonnie the Bunny, he's pretty cool, dude. You gotta get the car, you know, you play some jams on it. And uh, he's not that scary of an animatronic, but uh, Scott is very scared of him, so S tier. Chica, not my favorite was in the Chica. Best looking Chica, in my opinion. So I'm gonna put Chica in A tier. You know, not the best Chica. Force design of Chica, so it's not bad. It's just still a pretty decent design. Now we got Carl the Cupcake, Chica's pal. The best friend, so I might as well just put him in A wink. I don't really have any feelings about him. It's a pretty cool design, I guess. But I have no feelings for <laughs> the animatronic. Now we got this bastard Foxy. I hate Foxy, but uh, I like I like Foxy at the same time. Even though I hate him in every fan game I play because he is he gives me the most anxiety because you know he winds up to the doors you know bang bang bang. So I'm gonna put him in in a, a tier even though I hate his guts. Uh, it's just I put him in a tier. Now we have Golden Footy. Golden Footy. Is super super duper iconic. So easy SS deal. What do I have to say about him? He's a very well Easter egg. Do like two Easter eggs. You know, got the poster of him whipping off the head. Then we got the code 1987. We got the jump scale. Very iconic. Now we got an endo. Mm, I'm not crazy about the endo, so I'm just gonna put this at an F tier because this is FNAF 1 endos. They don't do anything because they're not actually animatronic, so I'm just put that in F tier. Now we got Phone Guy. Phone Guy is coming back, so I'm gonna put him in an S deal. He's a pretty cool dude. He helps out us in FNAF 1, and I'm not sure if it's the same person in the second game. I'm pretty sure it isn't. But he's he's a lad, you know, he helps out. Too bad he dies. But now we on on to FNAF 2. So FNAF 2, there's a lot of animatronics. So we got a lot to go through, because Jesus. So now we got, we got fun, we got uh, Toy Fuddy. Toy Fuddy. I'm not a fan of Toy 40, honestly. You ever play Ultimate Custom Night? You get jump scout, I get jump scout. That dude is a menace. Like, I gotta play FNAF in like two games at the same time, so. Also, his design's okay. It's not the best. I, FNAF 1 Fuddy is just better, in my opinion. That's what I can say about Toy 40. Also, he is pretty scary though when he gets in the office, so I'll give him some credit though. Now, we got Toy Bonnie. Toy Bonnie is an SS deal. Toy Bonnie used to scare me so much as a kid, but now, as a grown adult, I am no longer scared of Toy Bonnie. Toy Bonnie, though, pretty scary. Always gives you anxiety if he's in the vent or not, and this the side across the face thing is terrifying for NF2 and Octoman Custom Knight. Always gives you the anxiety just in case, you know, Foxy's in the hallway or something like that, you know. Now, we got Toy Chica. Everybody loves Toy Chica, but... This is not my favorite Chica design. I know, don't crucify me in the comments, but I just don't like Toy Chica that much. I like, I still put in an A because it's Toy Chica. Everybody loves Toy Chica, but honestly, season, you know, not my favorite type of Chica. But now we got we got the cupcake for Toy Chica. I'm putting that F tier because this thing doesn't even do anything. At least Carl actually does something. Like Toy Carl doesn't do anything. I don't know why there's two versions of Mangle, so I'm just gonna put one in F tier because you know that makes no sense because we never see a fully built Mangle. But Mangle is an SS in my opinion because Mangle is such a terrifying animatronic and you kind of feel bad for them because how they were treated with the kids and stuff, basically getting dismantled all the time. You just feel sorry for them and just the iconic colors and the iconic noises that that Mangle makes. It's just iconic that's what you think about fnaf 2 is mangle now we got balloon boy everybody hates balloon boy but i'm gonna give my boy some credit i'm gonna put him b tier he's not the worst but he's not the best you know he's annoying takes your batteries you normally die if he's in your office but you know it's balloon boy he's a menace but secretly we all love him now we got his twin sister JJ. So JJ is very weird. I'm gonna put this in F tier because I think there is the Ackman Custom Knight version of JJ. FC is actually here. I'm not sure. I don't see her. 
I don't think he's actually though. Yeah, he's here. Okay. So I'm gonna put the normal JJ in F tier because uh, he doesn't do anything. He's just a little East Wave, you know. But Billy Iconic, I would give it that. Now we got the puppet. What do I gotta say? It's the puppet. SS tier. Main gimmick of FNAF 2 is wanting the music box. Always giving people anxiety if it goes down at all, especially on a 1020 mode. It's the puppet, a very important kill to destroy, and everybody knows a puppet or the marionette, however, whatever you say. And she's a very cool character. Now, we got the w Withered Animatronics. The Withered Animatronics, they are pretty... I have some favorites, I'm not gonna lie, but... Um, Freddy is downgrade, in my opinion. This Withered, Withered Freddy is just... He, he's pretty scary, but, like... It's not... You know, it just doesn't feel the same, you know. I can't really say much about him because I don't really have much feelings for him. It's still a good design. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna say like it's not, but like it's not the same as normal footy. But these designs for Bonnie and Chica and Foxy, oh god, like Scott was cooking with these designs. Like this Bonnie alone, like look at that. Pull it Bonnie is terrifying. Like, and also, also the, the lines that he says in Ultimate Custom Night, it is so nerve wracking. Like, dude, and the same with Chica. Like, Wither Chica is terrifying. Like, whole jaw and everything. And no arms and legs. Like, I don't see his legs, but no arms, you know? It is actually terrifying. And Foxy, he's always in the dang hallway. He's giving me a heart attack. He got a fast mic so much, but, you know. It's just, just iconic. I'm going to say iconic a lot in this because it's FNAF. I've been, you know, playing these games, watching these games for, like, since I was a kid because I've been in the series for a long time. But that's enough about those three because I might as well get them all out because I feel all the same about them because they're so cool. But now we got Golden Buddy and Golden Buddy and FNAF 2. Eh, it's, I like the pose. The pose is pretty cool, but, like, jump scale is pretty lame. I know the first one's pretty lame too, but, like, it's just a floating head, you know? Not really scary, like F Force One Golden Freddy's in the office. He's gonna like, what the hell was that? But other than that, it's like, eh, it's whatever. Now we got the Paper Pals. Uh, they don't do anything, so I'm gonna put them in F tier. And same with the Mimic. I think that's the Mimic. I think that's what people are saying. Because he doesn't do anything. He's just the Easter egg. Shadow Freddy and Shadow uh, Bonnie, though. Shadow Bonnie is a S tier. Shadow Freddy is a C tier. Full C tier. Shadow Bonnie, I love Shadow Bonnie's design. It is so creepy and it crashes your game. Same with Shadow Footy, but Shadow Footy's just laying though. He's not doing anything. Like, well, actually, Shadow Bonnie's actually in your office and you can't do nothing about it. So, it doesn't have the same effect of scales. So, that is all FNAF 2. So, FNAF 2 is down. Now we on to FNAF 3. And I'm going to say automatically all E tiers for these phantoms. Especially this bass. So I'm putting him F tier. I'll tell you why I think so about these spring trap is one of my favorite animatronics it's such a good design the spring trap william afton you know the spring lock suit it is such an amazing design scott was doing so well with the design here but he fumbled on every other animatronic in this game or phantom but i just love spring trap not the character because you know any bad person but spring trap is just such an iconic awesome animatronic and this has so much importance for the story and this everybody loves the design and i can't i i agree with them now we have all the phantoms and they are all garbage so actually chica is just a wee skin actually this like it's, there's a reason why people call the watermelon chica because like these designs are all ass they're all terrible like especially like 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 even though gameplay wise like they're not fun to play against it's just more like uh i got like jump scout and i'm like i'm not dead but like my ventilation's going off and all that crap and same with the reason i put with uh not with uh phantom uh foxy after it's because you can't do nothing about him and you always just have to get jump scout so it's just like it's not fun like spring traps are only funny electronic in the game like fun time funny like not fun time funny that's later on but phantom funny He's probably like one of my favorite ones, but even still, he's like, Ugh, this design's awful. Uh, I don't know who, I guess this is Shadow Freddy, but I don't remember him. This is Cole Phone Guy from FNAF 3. I'll put him in S tier because he's such a lad, man. He's so happy and he doesn't die, so you know. So now we got the Fud Bell Entertainment animatronics. So I'm gonna put these in. Fud Bell is gonna be a solid B, and Spring Bonnie's gonna be solid B. I don't have much feelings. I don't really like or dislike the animatronic designs. They're pretty simple for the time period, but effective, you know. Just I have no feelings for them. 
but now we got the nightmare animatronics living abominations now we got like we got nightmare Freddy, like nightmare Freddy s still it's scary like i don't do i have to say anything about these animatronics they are all cool photos uh, photos uh, i put in detail because they they're cool but like uh it's okay bonnie s still chica s still cupcake uh Cupcake's very annoying because, you know, Chica throws it. I'll put that with the same tail photos. I just don't like, like, side mascot characters like that that much, but... I love the Nightmare Animatronics. They're so badass looking. They kind of look edgy, but I think that was the point. Now we got Nightmare Fredbow. Nightmare Fredbow is an easy yes, so though. It's, like, the changing of the mechanics of the night is mind-boggling, and it really gets people in the force first time when they face him and that goes the same with uh nightmare himself nightmare is pretty scary too by the way these are in any order it doesn't matter they're all like equally ss or like s you know how this tail is there's no like order plus trap i'm not a big fan of plus trap he's kind of lame honestly he's not that scary and honestly i don't know how he actually kills you he doesn't really kill you just you know you don't you don't get the two hour bonus but or whatever it's just, I don't like it. The same goes with the Jacko versions. I'm not a big fan of the designs. It's kind of lame. Like, Halloween update, you know, pretty cool. But, like, it's whatever. But now we got the other Nightmare Animatronics. Nightmare Mangle is an SS deal for me. It's just such a cool design. And I'm so happy that Scott actually gave uh, Mangle a Nightmare version. It's such a cool. And the same goes with Balloon Boy. Nightmare Balloon Boy is actually one of the most scariest animatronics in this damn series. Because look at all the words of TV he has. Like, my god, he's in a... He's gonna eat like a corner, like on a piece of corner cob. Like, dude is terrifying. And he replaces plus trap, which makes it even more terrifying. Now we got Nightmare Puppet, and that's that is basically death, like in Conan. And it is a scary Nightmare is just a scary animatronic. Just in general, like it's just such an awesome design, and it's very effective, especially in Help Wanted, where you, like you know there's tentacles all over the place, and it actually scares you. I don't know who this is, so I'm gonna put it um, FTL, and same with the Endo from FNAF 4. Old Man Consequences. I think that's Old Man Consequences. I don't have much feelings about him. I'll put him in detail because he doesn't really do much, to be honest. Mascot Keltor, I don't really care about the cupcake. Uh, Chipple, I don't really care. Scott, it's Scott, so I'll put him in ATL because you know it's Scott. Now we got DD. DD is going in FTL. Here's why. So, DD or JJ, it, I'm pretty sure it's DD. Yeah, DD. DD is a little bitch. So what she does is, even if you have like no animatronics out or like one animatronic, she will pop up and she will spawn a random animatronic out of the 50 or something animatronics in the game, and that is very annoying, especially when you're trying to do something. I don't like DD, and I'm pretty sure most of us can agree that DD is the worst. So now we have the fun time animatronics. Fun time. Yeah, fun time. Okay, so now we got Baby. So Baby is an S tier, A tier. Uh, Baby, I like Baby's design. I like her character. She's not my favorite though, but I do like Baby. Uh, she is a liar though, a stinking liar, but she is a kid trapped in an animatronic suit. So you can't blame her for trying to, you know, kill his brother. No, actually, that's kind of messed up killing your own brother, but whatever. We got now, we got Fun Time Buddy, a solid A tier. I really like the Fun Time animatronics. I think they're a very beautiful designs and they're very like the jump skills themselves are very scary. So, Fun Time Buddy, I'm counting Bon Bon in here too. Bon Bon and um, like the voice lines are so awesome and I love the voice actor. The voice actor is actually does uh, Glamrock Freddy, Diavolo from JoJo Park 5, and Overhaul from uh. My hero. So he's a very awesome uh, voice actor, and I, I just love the voice lines that they make. Now we got one of my favorite animatronics, and that is Funtime Foxy. I love Funtime Foxy. I love the design. I love the jump scout. My scariest jump scout. I hate. I hate it so much, but it's effective because you know jump scout. And it's also the cannon jump scout. The first cannon jump scout in serious. And just the color, the voice, like the voice lines are so awesome. And guys, if you do not know, they are actually gender fluid. So they use he and she pronouns. So more you know. And I love, I just love, I just love fun time, uh, Foxy. Now we got Blua. I don't got much to say about Blua. She did trap us in a suit for like the hardest night in the game. 
So I'll put it on B tier. I don't think we actually wall trapped. I think we did out of safety. But you know, whole little puppet things went inside of us. Whatever. Now we got the bitty bongs. I think that's what they're called. I don't like them. I think they're very ugly and they are not cute at all. Oh, scary. This is very ugly. And that gives the, the thing, same thing with uh, Blua's puppet things. They are ugly and not that good looking and i think they're the worst design animatronics in the game now we got edward edward is a solid s s tier edward is just straight up scary it is all the fun time animatronics combined into one being and basically they're trying to hunt you down so they can get inside your skin that sounds inappropriate but that's what that happens but uh edward is very scary he's iconic too that's why he's an s s tier i just Iconic animatronic, scary animatronic. Too bad we don't see much of him because you know they you know baby gets kicked out. Now we have Lobit. I love Lobit. Lobit is one of my favorite animatronics in the franchise. I hope maybe once I become more popular, I can change my profile pitch to Lobit or something. But I love Lobit. Lobit is my top three favorite animatronics of all time. I just love their design. I love the colors and how in the custom night where you just gotta type in LOL and it's just so awesome. I just I just love Lobit so much. It's just it's an awesome animatronic. Now, uh, this is not Bon Bon. I forgot what her name is. Uh, but I'll put her on the same tier with uh, Fun Time uh, Freddy. Now we got Yendo. Yendo. Yes, I know. I know Yendo's name, but not that that animatronic's name. Yendo. Ooh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure where to put Yendo at actually because Yendo is. Uh, is this an like a? Exoskeleton, really? Like the fun time exoskeleton. And it's not most effective. You know, not really scary. We got Dog Spring Chip, Automatic FTL, and Dog Spring Chip. It's such a stupid thing, and it's dumb. We we got the books, y'all. Uh, I don't know who that is. I only read one of the books, so you gotta give me credit, y'all. I don't. I wanna read them, but I just don't have the money to read them. But the Twisted Animatronics are solid S animatronic. I just love how they look. Also, I really like the Chica design. I really like it. Same with Foxy. I put that in S tier. S S tier. I don't know who that is. I don't know about the Twisted Animatronics, but here's my listing. I can't see anything on them, but I do like the designs. I can't see much. <laughs> so now we got Pizza. We are similar. Now we got Helpy. Do I got to say anything? Helpy is an automatic S S tier. Helpy is a little fun. We must protect him at all times. We got the Paper Pals. Easy S tier. They're awesome. And now we got the melodies or whatever they're called. I'm gonna put them in B tier because I don't really hate them. I think the designs are lackluster, but they're supposed to be whip offs. So I can't blame them. I can't say much about them because I don't really have feelings. Uh, Mr. Hippo, though. Mr. Actually, Mr. Hippo goes to S tier. Mr. Hippo is such an awesome guy. I love when he tells them us the stories when we die and often it cuts my from him. He's just an awesome dude. Now we got Captain Cadet. Captain Cadet S tier. He's very important animatronic or toy whatever you want to call it because he tells a certain stories that are very very hard to get and i just i just like him we got the puppet uh it's this is not even an animatronic but i just put it in detail i like the design but it doesn't do anything except like play game we got paper pals i'll put that in e tier they don't fto they don't do anything l chip l chip is pretty cool i'll put him in detail i can't say much about him uh, fun time. Um, is this fun time? This is fun time cheeky. Yeah, sorry. I just, you know, pizza we assume later now. I, I'm not crazy about the design, but I like it. Especially, it, people really like it probably in Octane Cuts tonight because you know the glasses that she does, but I'm not a big fan of her. And the cupcake is very ugly, and I'm not gonna do that. Like, is this ugly? Now, I'm pretty sure this is Octane Cuts tonight. Kinda. Now, Miss. M Music Man is in Pizza Wii Sumo. Music Man is very scary. He's now became a very fan favorite animatronic, I think. Uh, Ultimate Custom Night, he's very scary because you can hear the tambourines in the background, especially in uh, Security Weeds where they introduced the mini Music Man. They are very scary, but this is just normal Music Man, so I'll put him in A kill. Now we have. These guys, I don't like the designs at all. So they're gonna be a force squad of viewing ceilings. Reason why is because I just Bonnie looks kind of weird, Chica looks weird, 
body looks real. They just all look real. They don't look like how they're supposed to be seen, you know. Like, they just don't look good, you know. If you can feel me why, I just, I just don't like the designs at all that much. Lefty, Lefty though, is an amazing design animatronic. If you did not look, no. Yeah, sorry. I'm talking a lot, so it's, I'm getting dehydrated and messing up. So Lefty is actually the puppet hiding inside of the Freddy uh, animatronic. Uh, the Freddy is because Henry, the you know, he he made that suit for the puppet to hide in. So that's why that's what Lefty is. Lefty is actually the puppet, if you guys didn't know. And I just love the black and red design and the one eye missing. It's just so menacing. Like she will f you up. Basically, she is very scary. And the voice lines too. The voice lines are so good. Now we got Scrap, we got Scrap Freddy. Scrap Freddy is a solid A. It's a very, it's a scary animatronic. It's not the scariest, but like, it's effective design. It's probably took a long time for Scott to actually use, make a model of uh, Funtime, not Funtime, Scrap Freddy is because uh, it's actually Funtime Foxy, uh, Blore, and uh, Funtime Freddy all combined into one. And they kicked out Baby, cause Baby's right down here. Baby's design in this in uh, Pizza Wii Sim Little is the best falls in a baby in general because she has a giant like lobster claw, which just thinking about getting grabbed with that is just making me shake in my boots. That basically can probably chop you in half, and like she decided to design that on herself because you know she got kicked. So it's just very, very terrifying, and she really wants to kill Michael in Pizza Wii Sim Little. Next, we got the worst design animatronic in the entire franchise, and that is Scrap Trap. Scrap Trap is the ugliest looking animatronic ever. He has a big old head. He's a stupid arm that's gone. It's just, I don't know what Scott was thinking about when designing this animatronic. Like, like they made Spring, Spring Trap such a cool animatronic over here. He's such a cool animatronic. But no, let's make him the most ugliest, stupidest looking animatronic. He looks so dopey too. This. Just, what was he thinking basically now we got glitch trap glitch trap uh glitch trap is interesting because i don't know where to put him actually um he's very iconic now i have to pick him back up i'll put him in a tier. i don't i'm not a big fan of glitch trap it's a creepy design at first but other than that it gets pretty like it's it's a good design but it's not scary scary you know not very effective, but like when you force see him behind you, you're gonna freak out of course, but like other than that, once you actually get to know him, like this dude's gonna do nothing to me, he's just gonna trap me in a video game, you know, <laughs> take over my mind. Other than that, not scary. Now we got Pirate Foxy, even though Foxy is already a pirate. I'll put him in ATL, it's just a core design for Foxy, he's just like a wee skin, so I'll put him in ATL. Not much to say about that. Now we got Plus Babies, and I, I'm gonna put these in S tier, S S tier. Reason why is these things scale the living hell out of me. They these things are super scary. And reason if I do ever play Help Wanted, I was I hope in the future, I'm gonna dread playing the mid the levels with these little bastards. I hate these guys. I hate them so much. They're so scary. And that scream. I hate the jump scale scream. It just scares me so much. Now we got uh. I forgot what his name is. Uh, it's basically it's Franken Freddy. I think that's his name or something like that. I'm gonna put an ATL. It's a cool design, cool Halloween version of Freddy. Can't say much about it because I don't really have. Uh, we got uh, I don't know, Dark Boys, and I don't know what the name of this animatronic is actually. So uh, I know it's in the maze level. I'm gonna put in. The same tier of the night, the Jacko Lantern versions, because I think that's what it is. And it's the same with uh, Sun or Moon, whatever, whichever. I think that's Moon actually, just because I think it's a lazy design and just, eh, it's, um, I don't like it that much. Uh, I have no feelings towards these animatronics right here, so I'm just gonna put them in F tier. So now we are on the final ending, which is Security Breach. Thank God. So automatically, we got the gang. I love, I love the uh, Glamrock animatronics. So Glamrock Freddy, he is a homie, bro. He helps Gregory out so much in the game, and he's always so kind to us. He can't, 
he actually cares about our safety. And the endings where we have to let Freddy go is the most, it's so sad. But I hope the ending is canon where we actually escape with him because I love, I love Glamrock Freddy. He's such an amazing animatronic. He gave so much personality to him. There's so much memes that came out from him just because he's just an awesome animatronic and the voice lines they gave him, the actor did so well with uh, making feel like a you know a very close friend like someone you want to protect you know like a real homie now we got monty the gator monty he got some aggression problems so that's gonna de-dunk him some points he's not my favorite out of the glam i think he's not, probably my d favorite from the glam walks just because he's kind of a jerk <laughs> he uh is always aggravated and uh, like you know he's just a jerk in general and i'm not sure if he actually did beat up Glamrock Bonnie, and if he did, I don't like that man. I don't like when animatronics are fighting each other. I don't like when um, they're destroying each other. Because what about the poor kids that, like you know, the favorite animatronic? They're, they're gone now, you know. It just dude needs to take some like meditation classes or something. He's a chillax, you know. Now we got um, Glamrock Chica, and this is my favorite Chica design. I love Glamrock Chica. I just what can I say about it? I love how it's the 80s aesthetics. Uh, I find it funny that like there's exercise, the exercise and stuff, even though we all know Chica loves eating pizza and food and stuff. But it's pretty cool that there's so much stuff for food. There's the mermaid Chica thing, like with the postals and how she's like best friends with Roxy and stuff. You know, you got the, you got the gold friends, you know, they're helping each other out, you know. I just, I love the design. I love the character. Too bad she doesn't really do much and she's kind of like, like Eating out garbage hands constantly, but I really like uh, Flamelock Chica. Now we got my favorite animatronic in the franchise, and that is Roxanne Wolf. Roxanne Wolf, what do I have to say? I already made a video on TikTok about why I like Roxy. Deep down, she's a person that wants to be praised for her accomplishments and wants attention, so that's why she puts on a set of, you know act this like bossy and stuff like like yeah i'm the best but deep down she's very you know sensitive and she really cares what people think about her and i think i can relate to that in the character and this very really helped out with ruin and how she was treated in the game with uh, casey i just think she's one of the most human characters in the game despite being an animatronic and that can go the same way with uh glamrock 40 i just they're so such good written characters and i hate when people talk trash on them like i know she seems like a joke at first but you got to understand where she's coming from you know so now we got sun and moon sun and moon are iconic animatronics i'm gonna put them in s tier i if you guys didn't know i really like security breeds even though people hate it i love security breeds i think it's an amazing game and sun what well, you know it's sun he's such a happy person he you know, he, he's in the preschool area. He's just trying to help out. Then we got his other side, Moon, which is actually terrifying. And he's a little bastard, but he can't help it. You know, he's... I don't know why he's so evil. Maybe Vanny's doing, but he doesn't get withered like the other animatronics. So I wonder if he, that's just him at night. Like, he wants those kids to be sleeping, you know? Or is going to give them some divine punishment or something. But... I really like Sun and Moon, the awesome animatronics and the voice lines are creepy and really fun. So now we got Music Man. Music Man, the tiny Music Man are very scary, so I'm gonna put him in S tier. I hate going to events with these buggers all, and especially in Ruin. My god, there was so much of them, and it was scary going anywhere. Like, honestly, one of the most terrifying animatronics in the franchise, despite being such a, in a small hostel. Now we got DJ Music Man, he's not scary, but he's such an epic dude. He's playing the jams for us, you know. He's jamming out. He got the good music in the arcade area. He's just a lovable boy when trying, despite not talking. He's just an awesome DJ, you know. <laughs> now we got Endos, and these are very scary, very scary, and they walk like weeping angels. So if you don't know what a weeping angel is, basically you have to constantly look at them. If you don't look at them, they will. Basically, get closer to you and closer and closer until you're dead. And they work the exact same. And I honestly hate when games have that because it's so nerve-wracking. And you just gotta think so much. But 
it gets scaled so easily because what if you die what if you make something wrong what if you get stuck on something there's so much things that make Kelthos that like act like weeping range angels so terrifying so that's why i put in ssl and also designs is good in general so we got the uh walking bots i'm gonna put that in the stl the awesome guys they're just they're very cool <laughs> Not much you can say about him, but he does his cool. You know, he's got a, you get a vibe with him. Now we got the night, like with the corrupted uh, mannequins, and honestly, they're not scary. They kind of just have face paint over them, <laughs> and they look very similar to Night Marionette. So uh, yeah, there's some symbolism though, if you guys didn't know. Like, why do they have that face paint on? But now we have. The blob and the blob is an algamation of parts in this scrap in general. And I, I, I put him in B tier. If you guys don't know, the he is in the bone trap ending of security breach, and he is huge like he's so huge. And you actually have to be in Glamour Freddy or you would die to him, which uh, not fun. Also, I'm surprised how he got his mask back because in the scrap trap, uh, scrap. Buddy was in his mask is destroyed, but he has his mask back. Well, where, where he is right there. He's right there. You can't probably see my corso, but like, you know, how do you get his mask back? But I, li I like the design's pretty good and pretty scary. Born Trap, Born Trap is S tier. The design in general is just such good, even though it is not William Afton, it is the mimic actually, but it, it is such a creepy version of. The design of Spring Trap compared to Scrap Trap, which is an absolute dumpster file of a design. This design's actually file and it's very scary. And with the sharp claws he has and stuff, it is it is very, very scary. Now we got Banny. Banny is a very odd auto, in my opinion. I'm still gonna put on SS deal, but we needed more Banny. That's the biggest problem with security breach, in my opinion. We didn't really see Vanny at all, and it's such wasted Keltor. Like, she's so wasted. Like, she appeals like two times. Like, come on. She should have. She has an such an important role, but she doesn't appeal at all. Like, it's it's kind of disappointing, but it is an effective design in how she's being controlled by Glitch Trap or the Mimic. And I, I I'm pretty sure everybody likes Vanessa or Vanny. Now we got the corrupted. I think these are. I think these are called the Wuin animatronics or uh, corrupt, something like that. I forgot the name because people haven't been talking about Wuin in a while. But these designs are scary. Like we got Sun, Sun and Moon here. They are both at the same time. They all like, especially when you were playing it yourself, you just felt bad for them. Like come on, like they don't deserve this at all. They're like going insane and stuff. It just feel bad for him. And the design is so cool too. Monty, uh, he's a stupid dog. I'll put him in B tier. Uh, he is the least scary one though. And the water levels were just annoying while he was. And like, I just had to wait such a long time for him to come back and come back, you know? And I think there was a bug with that for me. And it's not scary. It's like, it's like some angry dog basically. You know, all the memes. Now we got uh, Wuin or Corrupted uh, Waxy. This is the same tier as Roxy for me, even though she's pretty beat up. Just the dynamic with Cass, Casey and her, like, ah, uh, it, it, it just pulls your heartstrings, you know. This feels so bad for her. That's with most of these animatronics. If I say the same thing, it's just because these guys don't dissolve this punishment. They don't dissolve any of this. It's all because of flipping mimic, you know. I hate the mimic. So we, now we got uh, Luan or Corrupt Chica and downgrade in my opinion i do not like the design it's not that scary the jump scare noise is scary but like it's this it's it's supposed to be destroyed i understand but like yeah i don't i don't like it <laughs> gotta get my judgment and this design for buddy i think is just terrible like i'm not i think that is just normal funny now i think gregory actually has a head of what uh buddy because he's still there, but it's very odd that when you put the mask on and take it back off, he's completely gone. So I wonder what importance that shows us. But I think the design's stupid. <laughs> like, it will kill you, no duh, because you need a stomach cast. Like, look how sharp it is. But, like, it's not scary. Now we got 
the mimic the mimic is an easy ss tier the mimic is such an amazing new antagonist for the franchise he hides in costumes he is a killing machine you know it's the mimic i'm very i, I like the mimic a lot i like him way more than william after now because it's finally something new gregory and casey are gonna be in s tier i really like both of them they're both kid characters and they're just they act like kids, they're not acting like grown-ups. I like how Gregory says small mouth sometimes with Fred Bill. Uh, not Fred Bill, uh, Glamrock Freddy. Because he's a kid, like, like I want to get out, that lady's going to kill me. And, like, Freddy's like, oh, I do not know about that, Gregory. And Casey, she really wants to help out Gregory, even as he does get lied to. And, like, hold them, hold, like we're full rocks and stuff. And see, the, both character designs are very cool. And I think the robot theory is very stupid so that's my sense on that theory i really like the characters now we got the crying child i have no feelings for him i feel bad for him because he dies but like other than that he, but he he got unfortunate his life sucked man now we got michael michael as an s tier we got to know a little bit more about michael in one of the books uh the survival guide i think or something like that like there was a book with Michael that actually Mike Smith had, which is Michael, by the way. And he had a lot of personality. He's like, it's just, uh, it's just such an amazing character. Despite him not talking at all in the Tower series, he's, well, I think he does talk actually in uh, the Dark Spring Trap ending. But he, like, you know, the ending with uh, Custom Knight for Sister Location, where he's like, jogging around the world, do, 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 do. It was just, it's so funny. It's, it's just uh you can't hate him you know he 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 did kill his brother on accident but i'm pretty sure he regrets that day and i'm pretty sure he made everything right by setting everyone else free and dying himself so i think he justified himself he no longer has to be you know he doesn't need to dissolve the hate anymore because he freed everyone and he died risking everything so He's a hero, to be honest. And he fought against his own dad's spring trap, so... He's such an amazing character. We got, uh, Emily. Emily's a tier. Sorry about getting stabbed in the alley, but, uh... Not my favorite character. Same with Elizabeth. Elizabeth is some Buddhist girl. I'll put the same tier as a tier. I just don't have no feelings. But Henry... Henry is an S tier. I don't, don't I have to explain. He gets that amazing speech at the end. He finally got everything concluded. I tell you no, help wanted to happen and all that stuff. But he finally helped everybody out. He finally helped out his daughter. He finally helped out Michael, and he ended William Afton finally. And now he is in purgatory forever. So Henry is a good for real, for real. So I really like Henry. William Afton. Uh, I'll put him in S tier. He is an iconic character, but he is a really messed up person and dissolves the water for all of eternity because he is a monster. Now we got the crying child. This could be any crying child, but I'll put that in C tier. C -tier. I don't have no feelings about him really, but this was the ranking of all of the FNAF animatronics. What do you guys think about my opinions? Are they garbage? Are they good? Uh, tell me in the comments below. This is a very long video. If you couldn't tell, this was a very long video. Proper English. But those are my thoughts and opinions. I know this is real. This probably isn't going to be that edited that much because I've been talking so much. I'm very dehydrated. But if you want to see me do another tier list on something FNAF related, tell me in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to press the notification bell. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.